I am on a mission to become the best data analytics project YouTuber on planet Earth. But there's only one problem. There is some fierce competition and I have mortal enemies like Luke Bruce, Alex Analyst, and Kenji who stand in my way to becoming the data science project king. My goal is to overtake them and become the most popular data project YouTuber there possibly can be. But I think there might even be other data project YouTubers that I don't even know about and how am I supposed to overtake and defeat these different YouTubers when I don't know who they are and how far away I am from them in terms of subscribers and views. And then I realized I know how to data science and data science can help me solve this problem. I realized I could web scrape YouTube and pull the best YouTubers on the topic of data science projects. And I could see all their stats, see how many views they have, see how many subscribers they have, and basically get some extra data like when they started their channel, how fast they're growing, stuff like that. And I could clean all that data up and create a cool visualization showing who the true data science project king is. Smart, huh? And it shouldn't be too hard, should be pretty fun. So I set out to work. But guys, only one big problem. That is that web scraping YouTube is actually pretty difficult. Their code is very dynamic, it's changing, and it's hard to parse. And for the data I need for this particular task, I would have to collect all my competitors' channel URLs from a YouTube search results page, which is hard, then extract the relevant data from their individual pages, which is hard. This is basically a similar way to using Selenium or Beautiful Soup, and gosh dang it, I just don't have time for this. I know my data enemies are already three steps ahead of me. Ugh, I'm just stressed. So my plan was done for. I was defeated, and I was sad. I had no chance of defeating my YouTube project foes and becoming the YouTube project king if I didn't even know who my foes were and how far behind I was in terms of views and subscribers. And I was totally ready to give up entirely. That was until today's sponsor, Bright Data, reached out to me and asked if they could help. Bright Data is the world's number one web data platform. And one of the things they do best is web scrape. They have hundreds of international IP addresses and seasoned web scraper engineers that make web scraping really easy. They only web scrape data that's publicly available, so it's as if you paid a human to go out and do all this research for you and record all this data and then give it to you, except it goes way faster, it's way more reliable, and it's just flat out easier. So I logged into my Bright Data account and found the data collector section. A data collector is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a crawler used to collect data at scale. And the cool thing about Bright Data is they have a bunch of pre-built crawlers ready for you, including scrapers for Instagram, Zillow, Amazon, Indeed. And you can actually see a video that I did where I scraped Amazon data and tried to come up with a cool product idea in this video right here. And with the Indeed data, you can actually watch me use the actual scraper and then lose to another one of my enemies, Shashank Kalanithi in the Iron Analyst. You can see that video right here. Obviously, if I was going to know who my biggest data project YouTuber foes were, I needed to use the YouTube crawler. And just with one button, bam, the crawler was built and ready for me to adapt and use. All I had to do was plug in my search term, which was data science project and hit run. The first crawler stage does a search on YouTube for that specific querying topic and pulls out a list of relevant YouTube channels. Then it feeds that results to the second crawler stage where it takes that list of YouTubers and pulls their stats like views, subscribers, etc. And within a few minutes, I had a full list of my data project YouTube enemies. But the good part is I didn't have to code any of it. And this meant I could just focus on making good insights from the data and not focusing on collecting it. But also for anyone who has web scraped before, you know it's super easy to get blocked and Bright Data just takes care of that for me. I don't even have to worry about it, which is super awesome and it just makes life so much easier. Now note that I'm using this particular data set and this particular web crawler to be able to figure out who the data science project king is, but you could use this data set for a whole different variety of things. You can see you know, who the top YouTubers in different categories. You can try to figure out certain people you want to work with if, if you're in branding and affiliates. You can find different partners. You can just do a bunch of different business applications with this awesome tool. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out Bright Data, I'll have a link in the description down below. Now, this data came to me as a JSON file, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation File, but it can easily be converted to a CSV, which is comma separate value file pretty easily. So you guys want to watch me do that with just the snap of my fingers? Ready, three, two, one. 
Okay, just kidding. What do you guys think? I use a Python script. You think I can just magic and I can do that type of stuff with the snap of my fingers? Y'all crazy. So after cleaning up my data a little bit, I was able to create a list of each YouTuber, their subscriber count, and their view count. So here's the code that I used to do that. You can pause the video if you wanna check it out. Now came the moment of truth. It was time to find out who my biggest enemies are and how far behind them I actually was. I was nervous, I was scared, but I was also excited knowing that with this knowledge, I could work harder, I could work faster, I could work stronger to become the data project YouTube king. And here are the results. I created this scatter plot that basically shows the view count as the X axis and the subscriber count as the Y axis. And each one of these different dots is a YouTuber. And you can see that I'm down here in the bottom left-hand corner, low on subscribers and low on viewers. Indeed, my hypothesis was correct. I have a lot of different enemies, a lot of different foes that I'll have to take down and overtake in this YouTube data science king battle. People like I thought, Luke Bruce, Alex the Analyst, and Ken G are indeed on the list, but there's actually quite a bit more. I didn't think about Tina Huang. I didn't think about Sundust. I didn't think about Shashank. I didn't think about Keith Galley. I have a lot of catching up to do because they're all behind programming with Mosh and Code Basics. So it turns out I have quite a bit of ways before I take the Data Project YouTube crown, but you guys can help me out in this journey by going below and pressing that subscribe button or watching one of these two videos right here. I think that we can do this together if you guys are willing to help me out. Thank you.